Hello everyone, I am Christopher, and today's video is going to be a simple one on how to back up your Nintendo Switch on Hikate. Alright, let's just jump right into it. How to back up your SysNan. We'll start off in the Hikate home screen, and we're going to select Tools. Then, we're going to select Backup EMMC. Next, select EMMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. This will begin the backup process. Wait for it to finish, then select Close. Back on the backup screen, we're going to select EMMC Raw GBP. This will once again begin the backup process. This will take a little bit longer than the last one, so wait for it to finish, then select Close. Now we're going to return to the Home menu and remove the SD card and plug it into your computer. Once we open up our SD card, we should find a folder called Backup. Select this folder, and we will see a folder that represents our NAND chip ID. Every switch will create its own unique folder, so yours won't look like mine. Select that folder, and depending on whether your SD card is formatted using FAT32 or XFAT, you will see either three files if using XFAT format, or multiple files like mine if your SD card is FAT32 formatted. So I'm going back to the previous folder, and we're going to create a backup folder on our desktop, and then we're going to copy the backup contents to our computer. Now that we have our files backed up, if you ever need to restore your NAND, just drag the files in your backup folder into the restore folder. We can use these files to restore your switch if anything were to happen to it. Although your switch will need to have the same fuse count number of this NAND backup. For example, if we look at this graph, if you were to say backup your Nintendo Switch at 9.0, but you updated your switch using Nintendo eShop to 10.0, your fuse count will no longer match. It would go from 11 burnt fuses to 13 burnt fuses. This will render the backup completely useless. You will need to repeat this process for the latest firmware to have a working backup, or you can update your switch using Homebrew, which will not burn a fuse. You can find your fuse count info on Hikate using the hardware and cache fuses info page. Now we can restore our switch. Select tools. Instead, we're going to select restore MMC. Select EMMC boot zero and boot one. Wait for the timer to finish. Then select Power to continue. Once this finishes, we'll close. Then we will select EMMC Raw GBP and again wait for the timer to finish and select Power. Once finished, return home and we can launch into our stock switch. Once we're on the home screen of our switch, we can see that it's working properly and our restore was successful. How to back up your Emu NAN. From our home page, we're going to press Tools, Backup EMMC. We're going to press SD Emu MMC Raw Partition at the bottom middle of our screen. Once you press it, it should turn from off to on. Now we're going to press SD Emu MMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. Once finished, we can press Close. Then we're going to press SD Emu MMC Raw GPP. Make sure you have enough space on your SD card to back up your Emu MMC. Once finished, we can press close and go back to the home screen. Then we can remove our SD card and put it into our computer. Once we open up our SD card, we should find a folder called Backup. Select this folder and we will see a folder that represents our NAND chip ID. Every switch will create its own unique folder, so yours won't look like mine. Select that folder and that should take us to Emu MMC and Restore. And as you can see, I have a backup folder on my desktop. So we're just going to select back and we're going to copy and paste our emu mmc into our emu mmc backup folder on our desktop. Once that's finished, we can reopen this folder and if we need to restore our emu mmc, I'll show you how. We're going to open up restore in a new window and move it over to the side and then we will open up the emu mmc folder. Once we're inside that folder, we're going to grab all the files and move them to the restore folder. Now that that's finished, we can eject our SD card and put it back into our Switch. Now we're going to put the SD card back into our Switch, and you can see it'll restart Hikate and bring us back to the Home menu. Now we're going to restore our Emu MMC by going to Tools, Restore EMMC, selecting SD Emu Raw to turn on. Then we're going to select SD Emu MMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. We're going to press Power to continue. 
Once that's finished, click close. And then we're going to click SD Emu MMC Raw GPP. And we're going to hit power to continue again. This will take a while. Once it's finished, hit close. Then close again, and we'll go back to the home screen. Next, we're going to open up our payloads and run our Emu NAND switch. And you can see here, once we go into our system settings and we scroll all the way down to system, you'll see that I'm running on 16.03 and I have an E at the end of it, which means my restore of my Emu NAND worked properly. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it has, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Take it easy.